Do you ever find yourself not meeting deadlines, chores, tasks, to-do lists? That's not unusual. Hi, my name is Cal Jordi, and I'm founder of Fearless Transformation, where we build championship teams. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a time management tool that helped me and many of our clients not only meet their expectations, but supersede it without being stressed out or falling behind or even worse, getting burnt out. Now, what is this model? Today I'm going to be talking to you about a called the Eisenhower model. We all know Eisenhower had was one of the one of in my in many people's opinions um, a not just only a general, a very successful, uh, courageous and smart general who fought in World War II uh, the Nazis in North Africa and also in Europe, but also made it to uh, the presidency of the United States of America. And in his presidency, um, the United States accomplished many, including, um, you know, starting the uh, conversations of, you know, uh, going out to space. So today, we're going to talk to you about how did Eisenhower do it. He was known for creating this model and they call it after his name, the Eisenhower model, uh, because he was very time efficient, he was very productive, and he wasn't stressed out about it either. So how to be able to implement it? We're going to get there in a minute, but basically the Eisenhower model is very simple. It's based on two criteria. How many? Two. Tasks that are urgent and tasks that are important. So if you notice here, we're going to be categorizing them into four different categories. Your to-do list, your task, your expectations. First step is, you know, being clear what it is and then going through each one of them and be able to categorize it under one of these four categories. And based on that, you'll be able to uh, know which one comes first, which one comes next, which one has to be scheduled and which one has to be deleted and maybe which one has to can be delegated okay so let's start with what is important and urgent okay so um, the more you go that way it's urgent the more you go up it's important so they're going to meet over here that's your to that's your do it right now it's urgent and it's important it must be right, done right now. That's what we call it in the business world. Something is on fire that you gotta, you know, fix. Or it could be like you need to respond back to a client right away to submit a proposal uh, that they're waiting for uh, for for to be signed. Uh, you know, follow up on a shipment uh, that needs to go to a customer. That is urgent and important. You gotta do it right now. Okay. Uh, there's no way around it. It's something that's essential and it's going to happen in every business regardless of how much you don't want to be urgent, but many things are urgent, so you got to take care of it right now. The second category is less urgent, but it's important. Well, this is a category where you need to schedule it on your calendar. Well, we call it the block time, block time for it. Why? Because it's important and it's not urgent, which is great because that can help you grow. These are the things such as um, if you're a manager, setting up time to sit down with your people, to coach them, to create their growth plan. Uh, if, uh, if you are a, uh, you know, on the ground, uh, on the field working, these are the things where you got to schedule your week or your month writing down your goals, um, you know, creating a prospecting plan if you're in sales, okay? These are the things that are important, not urgent. In, in myself, these are the things where I need to finish writing my book. That's these are, This is important to me, writing my book, and it's not urgent, but it's important. That's going to help me grow. Creating an online program that is important, but it's not urgent. If I don't put it on my calendar, I find that the do it now, the urgent stuff, they're going to take always priority, okay? So therefore, 
put it on your calendar, block the time, shut your phone off, your email, no responses. You got to be able to schedule it, time for it. Okay. Now they're going to go into uh, the urgent and less important. Okay. The urgent and less important, these are the things that you got to delegate. Find a way to delegate it or create a system around it that will take care of it, okay? Um, because these are the things that are urgent, must be done, but it's not that important. For example, uh, figuring out your outlook. Uh, your email is just not, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, it's flimsy. Uh, some emails are not reaching out, they're not going out. Uh, something like that, right? And there are many other examples, but these are the things that are urgent. You know, you got to take care of it, but it's not really less, it's less important for, uh, for, for you to keep running your business. Yes, you got to figure out how to figure out your email, but it's still working, but it's choppy. Maybe the background, uh, maybe your computer, you want to update it to the latest software, uh, things like that. And then we're going to go into an, uh, where it would be less urgent and less important. These are the things that you have two choices. Either do it later or delete. Okay, just delete it. It's not urgent. It's not important. It's a waste of time. Delete it. That's including, yes, checking your social media. That's including other things as well. That is not important and it's not urgent. So let it go. Okay. Um, so my assignment to you if you choose to accept is the following to first write down all your job expectations that you are expected to do on a weekly basis uh daily basis okay write them down number one number two go through each one of them and highlight where does each one of them fit and you can create like an acronym to it for example important and urgent, you can say I, you, okay? So that'll be important and urgent. And just highlight them all and notice that which ones fell here, delete it, we'll do it later. Things that you can delegate, think of who you can delegate it to. You can uh, you know, contract it out if you're an entrepreneur business owner or um, you know, if you're managing people, help them grow. Assign it to them, offer them to as a as an opportunity for them to grow and learn that job so that they could uh, grow from it. Not as like, hey, I don't feel like doing it. You know, you do it. That's not enrolling them. You want to enroll them in the possibility for growth. So present it to them as an opportunity for them to learn something new and you can take it off your plate so that you can focus, focus on the things that are important, okay, which is over here. The things that are important would be obviously the urgent and important. You got to do it right away. There's no questions, ifs and buts. You're going to try to make it less, you know, happening less. So that's where you got to start looking for, you know, how could we avoid the fire from keep happening if it's a problem? Otherwise, you know, try to create a system around it where it's less urgent. The less things that are urgent, the less mistakes in any business. Okay. Where you're going to, fall in this beautiful spot right here where you could spend more of your time on if you can, which is less stress, less accomplish and grow more in this area that are important and less urgent over here where you can block it on your calendar. Okay. Do that between now and the next 30 days. Comment on the link below. How did it work out to you for you? And would love to hear your comments, feedback, and I hope that you make the best out of it. More importantly, I hope that you can accomplish more with less stress. Because in the end of the day, when you're stressed, your emotions are high, which means our intelligence is low, which means more mistakes are, you know, unavoidable. Therefore, you want to have your stress low. Productivity usually comes up high. And that's how you can, you know, be a high performer. And this is one of the very powerful tools. It helped me and many of our clients that we work with, the Eisenhower model. Until then, be productive and always be growing. Cheers.